thought it best to follow up on a few leads I've been given. I mean, the first one was a bit of a bust. Joe's room in Pink Cage. The manager said it had been broken into and everything stolen. So I then went up to Sandy to find his four old geezers, who Joe supposedly hung around with of an evening. But they said they didn't know him, and then got quite aggressive because they thought I was a police officer. But unlucky for them, they didn't realise I was a black belt in martial arts and was able to defend myself from their two young friends who they call over to try and beat me up. After a good night's nice rest and suffering from an headache after head button a couple of feet, I decided to make my way back to Pillbox to see if there was any other further developments on finding Joe. Good evening. Hello, hey, how's it going? Not bad, not bad. Been busy. Cool. I That's good. Followed up on that uh, bit of information I got to go up uh, Sandy. What are you investigating? Uh, the, uh, Let me go change real quick. This thing, Joe seems to be missing. Can't find him. He owes me longer. Oh, you're looking into something for Joe? I haven't seen Joe in a couple days. Well, that's the point, yeah. He, um, I was over here to look for Martha, but apparently she's dead. So that's a bit of a cold case. Yeah, apparently she's been dead for a while and Joe just never knew. Yeah, apparently quite a few years. Bizarre. So, uh, he owes me Do we me know who money. did it, though? No. Because I think he thinks uh, she was murdered. Murdered? Now, with murder being thrown in the mix, I could find the pressure really coming down on my shoulders. I mean, if anyone now started getting emotional, I think it would be time to fly out. I only got a description of him the other day. I was looking for three days without having a description of this whole bloke. Yeah, that's well, not an L. I know. Joe? Yeah, I've got one now. He wears a got a burger on yeah, his head or something. He wears a burger flat cap, like one, one of those sunshader things. Yeah. He wears a... Uh, Wears like a cardigan that's got. Is it got the clucking bell on it? I think it might. Um, Has a clucking maybe. bell. And I don't know if he wears shorts or trousers. I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure he definitely wears sure he clucking wears shorts. bells. Yeah, I got shorts. Shorts, shorts. shorts. And he walks. And he's got a bad back, so he walks like his his back's fucked. <laughs> he looks like the hunchback in our game. He's crippled. Yeah, you can find him. He ain't gonna run away. Sorry, Notre Dame. He's a fucking sweetheart. Yeah. I'm, I miss him. So that was it. This case was becoming too much pressure for me, so I decided it was best to leave. And Mr. Harry was kind enough to give me a lift to the airport. Although, we ended up on the golf course. Listen. I'm listening. If you tried to get near that goddamn airport and leave this goddamn city, that's going to be the end of you. Okay, understood. Yeah. Yeah, just forget about London. What does the end of mean? Like a, like a book? No, it means that what comes out of this uh, gun I have in my hand will be inside your face. Okay, um... Yeah, you're not going anywhere. I best call Mum. Yeah. And yeah, no, I'm uh, going to be a bit delayed. Yeah, you're going to be very delayed. Find that goddamn Jew. After that encounter, I decided to go and visit my favourite head therapist, Mr. Gray. How are you doing, sir? Mr. Gray, so nice to meet you. Yeah, it's good to see you. Yes, I'm still here. Good. I've had a uh, bit of a uh, predicament. What happened? Apparently, if I go near the airport, I will end. You will end? That was the message I got, so I've been in deep thought for the last ten minutes thinking oh, about wow. it yeah and uh, there's something i need to ask uh -huh. where do you get a decent burger around here after a delicious burger and a nice cup of cocoa i devised a cunning plan i mean sometimes even my genius amazes me what do you think mr gray i'm a genius it's a uh... A hot dog truck. Yeah, but I'm a hot dog vendor undercover as a repairman in <laughs> undercover of a private investigator. Don't you, think you, <laughs> don't you think you should get some kind of hot dog outfit to go with the truck? Boy, that would defeat the object. I'm deep, deep. Well, this is what you call deep undercover, you know? Two layers of it. Well, he got two jobs. 
Yeah, come on. I mean, if you want to be my... You're so normal, you have two jobs. I get it. No, 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 I'm a, I'm a private investigator. Undercover as a hot dog salesman who's undercover as a repairman. I get it, but I'm kind of confused. <laughs> well, if you want to be a, a shit robin, I mean, you've got you to get with the program, Mr. Gray. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I just, I just kind of think you should either have a van that goes with the construction outfit or an outfit that goes with the hot dog truck. You think so? Well, because if you get out of the hot dog truck, then you just look like a construction guy who's stolen a chihuahua truck, like a hot dog truck. Mr. Grey, I, I don't know, I like to admit defeat, but I think you're right. I do somehow look rather strange. It kind of, yeah, you kind of draw a little more attention. Someone's expecting a hot dog vendor to hop out, and then a construction guy gets out. Why not I just say that I'm a hot dog guy, but it's messy work, and uh, on my ham, I, I use my hammer for beating the meat. <laughs> that works, yeah. I think that works. That, that does, but then I don't think they want to buy a hot dog from a dirty construction guy. I stuck with my plan to keep out of Harry's way, because... I didn't like the sound of being ended. You don't look too well. You okay? Hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you do look like uh, you're in need of help. No, no, I'm just trying to figure out what the hell is going on. The last thing I remember is 1988. Who are you? Name is Harry. 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 Hold Harry. on, you, you sound like a Harry that I've met. Sorry? Yeah, I'm meant to be staying away from you. That's why I'm undercover. I've never, I've never seen you in my life. I'm undercover, deep undercover, so you don't recognise me because you said you was going right. to end me. Where the hell would I say that? Yeah. yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a, it's a matter. Yes. The last thing I remember was being in Chicago eating a burger and then I woke up in the goddamn hospital having to call it Pillbox. Oh, do you, 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 has anyone told you you got a canny resemblance to Jimmy Savile? Jimmy who? Jimmy Savile. Never heard of him. Oh no, never mind. Wait, so you've woken up in hospital and sort of less, lost your memory? What are you talking about, lost my memory? Does that mean I... don't. Sorry? Does that mean I haven't got to be undercover as a hot dog salesman, undercover as a... DIY man. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I've had to go deep, deep, double deep undercover to get away from you because you said you were going to end me. I don't know what you're talking about. No oh. idea. Oh, I've never okay. seen you in my life. Oh, that's okay then. All right, I'll go and take that complaint away that I put in with the police. Right. Apparently they're looking for you. Yeah. Ah, right. Well, if they find me, I'd be happy. Maybe they can tell me what's going on. I like the new you. You look very smart. You look very, uh, cuddly. Well, I woke up in this really weird uh, old man suit. And, you know, it's, it's, it's 1988. I thought this was more in fashion. Yeah, yeah, 1988. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You are Jimmy Savile. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I just got this urge to sit on your lap. <laughs> right. Right, right. So, yeah. listen. You ain't got any badges, have you? Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm selling uh, hot dogs. Oh, right. I like hot dogs. Can I have one? You certainly can, and I'm giving them out as promotional yeah. free. Hold on. Oh, nice. Oh, fantastic. Thanks. Oh, my God. What the hell? This tastes like shit. What the hell is it? What the hell is this? If. It's the worst thing I ever tasted. <laughs> oh my god! I don't feel too good. You are. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my! Oh. Oh. oh my god! Are you sure you're oh. all right, Jimmy? No, I feel like. Oh. They were fresh today. They were freshly what the hell made. Did you give me? What no. the hell did you get? Oh. I'll lose my license. Oh my god. Oh my, it's the worst thing I ever tasted. Oh my god. Don't, don't, don't. I'll lose my license. Uh, you didn't buy them from oh me. Oh my god. 
You didn't yeah, get it. I did. What's your name? Would you, well, can I give you a lift up the hospital? Oh, I'll walk you back here. I don't want anything to do with you. You're crazy. Oh. Oh, jeez. What you talking about? It was a hot dog. No, it's just a... Looks like this may be this oh guy. I got in a hot dog van. Oh, yeah, I feel... Is this guy? I feel pretty bad. I should clean my tools. Uh, um, yeah. Oh, a guy should always clean his tool. I, I won't lose my license. Well, I mean, it's my first day of trading. I mean, it's not really, uh... Our jurisdiction. That's good, that's uh, good. Well... Well, it's it's, yeah, I, it's I, I gotta take care of this man. It's secretly uh, it's secretly his fault anyway. How is it his fault? But he's the reason why I'm deep undercover as a because you know it's, it's, if you, you haven't recognised me as Lee King, private investigator. Yeah, I recognise you. What do you, what do you mean you recognise me? I'm deep undercover, double deep. Your voice. Oh, okay. I've got to, yeah, I've got to get that voice changer right. Yeah. But yeah, I've gone undercover as a hot dog salesman. Who's gone undercover as a repairman? Put the both of them together, and you know, oh, yeah, I use my tools and my hot dogs. Uh, okay. I gave him one of my freshy ones. It balled up in the radiator earlier on, and he, he ate it. But he said he's lost his marbles. Can I take a look around here real quick? Well, 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 well I lose my license. Oh no, my god, goddamn police are here as well. Just gonna make sure, you know. Uh, officer. Oh. Yeah. Nothing, just uh, this man selling hot dogs. I'll let it slide as long as you say that I don't look like I'm wearing a wig. I never said that. It's always, I, I did, I did mention. I'm just, I'm just trying to prove a point here to uh, someone in this area. Oh, I did, I did. <laughs> 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 I, I was speaking to Mr. Gray and I said, who's that handsome gentleman over there? And he said, well, that's that, uh, that superhero cop. And I, I, it did happen to mention that he was wearing my mum's wig. So I do apologise for that. I mean, it was, um, it was uncalled for. Um, it doesn't look like my mother's wig. It's got not got enough grey in it. Sorry, guys. Got to leave you to it. Who, there's a, who was that handsome copper? This is a... This is a... Uh, there's, there's a call. There's a call. <laughs> Yeah, man, you should, you should probably go get those, uh, clean your tools and stuff. 